I've been painting the majority of my life. I started when I was about 15 years old, a little over 40 years. I started the project that I'm on at the moment in 2010. Um, prior to that though, I started painting outdoors probably about 20 years before that. I started while I was working. Uh, I was a social worker and when I had um, days off, I would go hiking or canoeing or kayaking with my husband or friends. And I often spent a lot of my off time, my downtime, my relaxing time, sketching and painting while I was on these adventures. Starting to study art more and more and starting to take the subject and the craft more seriously, I started um, venturing into uh, studying and looking up Canadian artists. And two artists that particularly interest me were Emily Carr and Tom Thompson, who painted pretty well exclusively outside, even though they did studio work. They rendered most of their material and their resource material inside. That fascinated me. Um, and when I started to realize that others could do that, that my painting outside wasn't just a pastime, I started to know that there was a title. And the title was called Plein Air. And researching it more, and the more I did, the more I realized that, that was my niche. I fitted into that hole real well. This winter was very different than the previous years of the project. I've been on this project for nine years now and normally I go for one month at a time for 30 days and they're random months. This year I and my husband uh, and family members came up with a creative idea of doing two months together back to back because they were literally two different years, uh, 2018 and 2019. So I went for the month of December and the month of January which was 60 days but technically I'm actually out there a little longer because I go on the last day of the month. So I went November 30th and I came out on February 1st. So I was actually gone 62, 63 days. My husband um, participates in planning the trips with me. Uh, not so much the day-to-day -day activities, but he helps chop the wood, haul the wood out, haul all the water out. Very of this year, 2019, and for a good couple of weeks, but a week particularly, um, the temperature reached uh, minus 25, minus 28 regularly, and on several days and several mornings I got up, it was minus 30, minus 32. Uh, and it was very, very cold. I, I have a wood stove, um, and I live in a little tiny hut, a 10 foot by 10 foot, uh, about 17 feet high. So it warms up really quite well. Having said that, you have to stuff the stove regularly, which means every two hours. So in a nine week period this year, or in winter, um, I barely slept. I slept, but I was up every two, two and a half hours to stuff the wood stove so that it wouldn't get cold. Because if I didn't stuff it, I had one experience where I had slept for four hours and when I got up, it was minus 23 inside. I live uh, south of Sudbury, about 33 kilometers south of Sudbury. Uh, the hut is on my property. I eat extremely well out in the bush, surprisingly. Um, I, I plan the food, I plan before I go, I plan all the items that I'm taking, but I literally plan the meals. Uh, I sit down months and months ahead of time with fresh vegetables, um, fresh fruit, and uh, I eat three, four times a day, pretty well grazed, have big full meals. Um, being out in the cold and out alone in the air consumes a lot of energy. Uh, as well as the other activities, so you find that you're ravenous quite often, you're hungry, and so I pretty well eat from sunrise till sunset. <laughs> I make a point of not socializing and not uh, having company. Uh, I often get requests for visitations from my friends and relatives, and I decline them because the purpose of the goal is to be in ultimate solitude. As the years go on and the time goes on, and depending on the time of year, my husband, of course, is rightfully concerned about me, um, wildlife, uh, weather mostly more than anything, and so he comes out once a week uh, to check on me. My most enjoyable part is early in the morning. Um, I really like to get up before the sun rises. Uh, a lot in the winter it's dark, so five, six in the morning, and even though it's cold, I like to sit there and have my coffee and watch the sun come up. I love to watch the light dapple on the trees, the snow, I love to listen for the birds, the very first bird of the morning. Um, it just makes me very cheerful and I sit there quietly uh, in 
solitude and plan my day or just sit there and enjoy the rhythm of the energy of the morning. I finished, even though I was gone for 60 days and normally in the experience I paint every single day. However, I did not do that this time because of the cold. I caved a little bit. I did come home with 32 finished uh, paintings. I go with a goal. So this year I was studying light and I was studying composition styles. My day is actually very, very busy and I actually have to plan the painting part because when I am not painting, um, I'm cleaning the little hut that I'm in. I take a dog, I'm walking the dog, I go snowshoeing every single day and for some exercise. Also, it's an opportunity to survey my environment and if it's too, too, too cold, 25 below, 30 below to paint, um, then I am observing what's going on. I painted chalk pastel and I choose that because it works with the weather. Um, if I'm painting acrylics, which I have done and I did do again this winter, it'll freeze up within about 30 minutes. On my next adventure, I have now completed nine of the 12 months. Uh, my next adventure is in February 2020 and I will complete the project uh, because I had the two months back to back and enjoyed the length so much and it was so productive and so healthy that I've decided to end the project also with two months back to back. So in 2021, I'm going to do August and September together. So next year will be in February, and as I say, the, uh, the summer months in 2021. I certainly would recommend this to other artists. Um, and for the rationale and the reason being that being alone with yourself and not having any other input and solving your artistic problems yourself is really, really rewarding and you really learn from it. You also really learn from hours and hours and hours of being in nature and just observing and using the nature as your studio. Um, nothing can be any more real than the realism of being outside. Um, it's not a flat 1D and you get to examine things, you get to go up and touch it, smell it, feel it. And by doing that, I find personally that that information gets embedded in my head, gets embedded in my arm, comes right out my fingers. Now, I would suggest that almost all artists spend at least a lengthy time outside doing plein air because it keeps you out of the habit of learning to copy um, and just not being stagnant. It provides something different every day. Even if you're looking at the same tree and the same hill, it's never the same. It changes every five minutes with the light. Nature and being outside is my cathedral. Well, it's turned out to be even more than that. I breathe well outside. I stand strong outside. Um, I feel the strength of the universe and the energy outside. Every year I have a solo show at Fielding Memorial Park in Lively and this year will be my 13th year and I will be displaying all of the artwork that I did on this trip, the good and the bad, mostly the good hopefully, um, and in fact I'm in the midst of having it framed right now.